Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so today I decided I was going to do a little skincare get ready with me sort of thing. I thought if I just did that on its own it would be really 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 boring. So I went on my Instagram and I asked you guys to ask me some questions so you guys can get to know me a little bit more. Um, I'm still too scared to put it on my main like Louisa Trainer Instagram. Hopefully I'll get there one day. But I put it on my Buffy Vintage 97 Instagram. And that's my Depop Instagram where I post like updates about all the clothes I'm selling. So if you want to buy some clothes, go and follow that. Okay, so the first question is, what are your top tips for self-care during lockdown and online school? So we all know how difficult it is to like maintain self-care and keep yourself healthy during lockdown because we're inside all of the time. But what I like to do is I try and go on walks. Normally I can't be bothered and I really need to do it more. Doing your skincare, doing the little things, making sure you're eating three meals. I think are all just really basic, important things that we all need to maintain and keep doing. Um, I'd say one that I've been finding difficult is like keeping in contact with my friends. I don't know, I just find it really difficult when it's like over text or Snapchat, whatever. But I'd definitely say keeping contact with your friends is a good self-care thing to do. Just to, you know, just for a catch-up, just ask them how they're doing, something like that. What is my drink of choice? I'd have to say... This is a difficult one. Mm, probably a mojito. Or a gin and tonic. Actually, no, definitely a mojito. What are my opinions on astrology? I don't know what astrology is. Well, I know it's like the stars thing, but I think you mean like the whole like star signs and all of that. So I don't really know anything about like star signs, zodiacs, but I would like to learn, but I have no idea. So I don't really have any opinions. What is my favourite colour? Well, if you'd watch my last video, if you haven't, go and watch it. My favourite colour is green. So the next question is, what is the best advice for teenage girls that you can give? Um, I think being 17 I've definitely had a lot of experiences where I could offer advice. I'd say the worst thing about being a teenage girl is all the like comparison there is and especially like when you're at school you know you're always around other girls and there's so much like competitiveness and comparison so I'd say my best advice would be not to compare yourself to others and also don't like try and be someone you're not. When I was younger I'd literally just buy everything that was new in an Urban Outfitters and then I'd walk down the street and everyone else would be wearing the same thing as me. So I think remembering that you're your own person and that you don't have to like everything that everyone else does. Like lots of people like doing things that I personally don't. So just be yourself and then you'll be fine. The next question is what inspired you to get into fashion? Well my fashion journey did not start off well. I literally, as I already said, I literally used to only buy very basic clothes, like Brandy Melville, all of that. Like, I'm not, I'm, if you wear that, that's completely fine. But because you're buying from a high street shop, it's very likely that someone else will have the same thing as you. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I just personally, I don't know, I find it really embarrassing. Like, I remember one time at school I walked into supper and a girl was genuinely wearing the same thing as me. It mortified me. I think... I think what inspired me was I started getting into watching other YouTubers and um, they definitely inspired me to become a bit more original. Um, I also started my Depop business in the last lockdown um, because I wanted money so I could buy clothes and I just sort of got more inspiration and stuff. Actually this ties in well to the next question. The next question is who inspires your fashion. There's a YouTuber called Matilda Malore and her style is amazing. She sort of incorporates like streetwear with sort of like vintage 90s one-off pieces and I just think it's such an amazing look. Okay, the next question is what made you get into Buffy Vintage 97? So partly because of my boredom in lockdown, literally in the first lockdown I had nothing to do. You know, the whole lockdown thing was very new, everyone was really, really lost. I just felt like a meaningless human being with nothing to do. I found lots of pieces on eBay that I really, really liked, and then I bought them, and then I took my own photos, rebranded it, and yeah, 
I don't know, I just really got into it. Um, I'm kind of less into it now, I think partly because I've got other things to do because I'm in my final year of school, so there's a lot of work to do and all of that. Okay, so the next question is, where do you want to go to university and what are your plans after school? So, originally I was going to go straight to university, but I think with coronavirus I want to wait a year and like let everything die down so I can have like a proper freshers and... I mean, I know that's not the most important thing, but I do want to have, like, the classic uni experience. Um, so I think I'm going to take a gap year. I have no idea what I'm going to do in my gap year. Originally, I wanted to be a shallow girl because of that movie, but it seems so difficult to plan now because, obviously, of coronavirus and everything. Yeah, I really want to travel, but after that, I do want to go to university because I want to get a proper degree, um, and I'm going to study business management and marketing. And I'm still deciding what university I want to go to. I've applied to Bath, Leeds, Newcastle, Sussex and Exeter. Um, but I think I want to go to Leeds or maybe Bath. I mean, I know they're completely different, but I'm not really sure which route I want to go down. OK, so the next question is, what do you want to do when you're older? Well, I've already said that I want to do marketing and business management. But I genuinely have no idea. I think recently I've got a lot more into fashion and like the fashion industry. So I'd really like to do some marketing in the fashion industry. Like originally I really, really, really wanted to be a model and it was like the only thing I wanted to do. But then I sort of realised that like I preferred like the sort of managing people, like business and the sort of marketing side, branding companies kind of side of things. So I think I'll probably do something like that. The next question is have you ever struggled with mental health and I think during this time everyone has probably struggled with mental health um, and I'd say that there's a difference between mental health and mental health illnesses and I'm not going to go into it now because it's personal. I'm sort of still recovering and getting myself back together but I think in the future I would like to talk about it more but in answer to that question yes. Okay, next question is how to shop more sustainably. And I think that sustainability is something that I'm very passionate about. I think in this day and age, it's definitely so difficult to be perfect and not do anything to impact the environment. Some good ways to do it is definitely buy secondhand. So buy from Depop, charity shops, eBay, Vinted. And also lots of companies are changing the way that they're making clothes. So thinking more sustainably, um, changing their packaging, definitely researching the companies that you're buying from. I say there is a big problem with sustainable fashion because companies that um, aren't secondhand and like manufacture sustainable clothes are often really expensive. Like I remember I had a lesson once and my teacher told me that there was a jumper made from like really sustainable like fabrics and stuff and it was like £200 for one jumper and that is just not something that everyone can afford. So I think that there's definitely a problem about how expensive sustainable shopping is and also just being a bit more like conscious about what you're buying. And I think that there's a big stigma against AliExpress and stuff like that. And personally for me, I'm very, very lucky that I can afford clothes on Depop and lots of people can't afford that. And it's such a shame that there's such a thing against AliExpress because it's a great way for people who maybe don't have the money to buy clothes from motel rocks to be able to afford trendy clothes. So I think we do need to find a better solution for shopping sustainably because I don't think slamming people for buying things off AliExpress and shops like that is necessarily a very nice way to go about doing it. But I don't know, it's definitely something I'm very passionate about. Maybe I'll make a few more videos about how to do it. I don't know, it's a good idea. Okay, I'm only going to answer a few more questions. Okay, someone asked, what are my favourite aesthetics? I don't know. I don't really know what aesthetics there are. I used to be really obsessed with the Y2K, Diamante, Bling, Juicy Couture, Von Dutch um, sort of aesthetic. I've kind of lent away from it. That aesthetic is where I sort of entered into the world of fashion, but I've kind of gone away from it now. But I do like that one. I mean, I would personally never wear this one, but I think the fairy aesthetic is quite cute. Like when people wear like the little um, butterfly wings and fairy wings and sort of dress up like little 
pixies and stuff. I quite like that. I mean, I would never wear it, but I think it's quite cute. So my friend asked me if I'm still doing music and if I have any hobbies beside fashion. Um, and if you don't, I mean, you won't know, but I used to be really, really into my music and I used to write a lot of songs, produce my own music. And in answer to your question, yes, I am. Um, I still do a lot of music. I play piano and I'm hopefully going to get my grade eight this year, but who knows. I also got some decks for Christmas, so I've been doing a lot of mixing. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely still really, really into music, just as much as fashion. I don't know what my other hobbies are. I love playing sport. I play hockey and lacrosse at school, um, and I really, really love that. But yeah. The last question I'm going to answer is, your house is on fire and you can grab one item of clothing. What is it? That is a really, really good question. Well done, Anna. Um, so... Hmm, this is a really difficult one. An item of clothing. Probably my brown North Face because that thing is worth so much money and I bought it for like a fraction of the price that they're being sold for now. But um, yeah, my brown North Face. Thank you so much for asking me questions. I'm definitely going to do another one of these because I think they were really fun and I might do like sort of themed ones so like Maybe like a mental health Q&A or something like that or something more lighthearted, I don't know. But um, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed. I did a really bad job of my skincare routine. I literally just put on concealer and mascara. But I really hope you guys enjoyed. I think I accidentally turned off my comments in the last video, so I'm going to try and work out how to get them on so you guys can leave any suggestions below. Also, please go follow my Instagram. It's at Louisa Trainer with two eyes in Louisa. And I also have a TikTok, which I think is the same username as that. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you next time. Bye!